Last Saturday, on the 20th of May, a new update for Croydon Roblox came out, known as Croydon version 1.3. So, let's not waste our time, let's set a time and let's see if I can do this. So, as you may have noticed, there's a new company to the game, where quite a few of these new bosses have come to. This is called Cray Coach. The selection of bosses is varied, both in manufacture and points. Cray Coach gets a 9 out of 10. Next, there are some new areas that have come to the game. These include Nord Junction and Selhurst. Let's have a look at them now. First up, let's look at the area of Norwood Junction. This is the main area for the new update. There's some houses here, as well as a car park, and a bus stop for the station. There's also a new clock tower in town, South Norwood Clock Tower. The whole area here looks pretty cool and I'm happy to see this area come to the game. And we can expand the game to match the real life Croydon. The area gets an 8 out of 10. Next there's also an area of Selhurst Park, complete with shopping centre, stadium and new buses to serve it. Let's have a look around. I like this area, somewhat looking the same as the area of Beddington Asda. There's a fuel station, a nice bus stop, and a car park here. Walking over to the main road, there's also a bus stop for the whole area, as well as newly modelled houses. The area is pretty nice, I give it a rating of 7 out of 10. It does look a little bit like some other areas, but it's nice and it definitely deserves that rating. Another area within Selhurst is Selhurst Station, so let's have a look at that. I really do like this area, it may be my new favourite area. From these nice and red nice and blue train bridges and how the road curves underneath them. If you zoom out you can see there's a southern train up here as well as a depot for some other trains. These are really nicely modelled. The station building is also pretty cool and newly modelled houses up here look great as well. I can't see anything wrong except for some areas being a little bit sparse. This gives it a 9.9 .9 out of 10 rating. It's time to rate and have a look at the new route. <laughs> There are 10 new routes, but I can't get to all of them because some are pack buses and some are Croydon Plus. If you do want me to look at some Croydon Plus things, I need some money, so please become a member at my Patreon, there's a link in the description. First up, the 75 from Norwood Junction to Croydon Town Centre. This route is great and it explores all of the new areas. Nine out of ten. Next, the 130 is Partnell Road to Norwood Junction. I like how this route goes by Thornton Heath and Selhurst Park, and it's very nice to drive. Eight out of ten. 157 is one of the main routes that lots of people like to drive. It goes by a lot of the new areas and I recommend it to you with a rating of 9 out of 10. The 468 goes from Thors and Heath High Street to Croydon Town Centre. Quite good really, and it does a nice job going through the areas. Seven out of ten. The 50 is an interesting route and it takes its time to get round to Croydon Town Centre from Parkmore Road. It 
gives you a good overview of the new area, but it doesn't go through Selhurst, so it's a 6.9 out of 10. Finally, the rail replacement route would get a 10 out of 10, but I can't drive it because it's a Croydon Plus route, so I'm giving it a 0. <coughs> wow, that was a lot of routes, and I still haven't covered all the Blue Star pack routes, which I can't drive, and countless amounts of new company routes. Let me know in the comments if you made any new company routes around the area. There's a new thing for companies, um, including new buses, new stops and terminals, and new announcements for company routes. Next stop, Thornton Heath Pond. Thornton Heath Pond. This is the service to Selhurst Park. As these never used to work. There is also some good news for those who don't have Croydon Plus, as is an XP revamp. The update as a whole deserves a 10 out of 10. Phew, we did it. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe as I have a lot more content planned on the update. There's also a Discord server in the description to join for some general transport chats and video updates. I'll see you in the next video.